Shit, my friend here, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here, and let's get back into Planet Zoo. And as you can see, it's slightly different to my usual playthroughs with Planet Zoo because I'm doing a little speed build <laughs> of a little haunted building to store some exhibits in or to just place some exhibits in. Uh, so if you don't want to watch this speed build and you want to go straight into gameplay, I'm going to put a timestamp up to when the speed build ends uh, up here somewhere. I think it's that side. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to go straight into just playing the game, go to this timestamp. So to start with, I wanted to build something to go with the building that I downloaded off Steam and I'm going to link to all of the things I download off Steam. I'm going to go through them in game as well. So yeah, for today, if you hadn't already guessed from my background and my little outfit, <laughs> I really love Halloween and I wanted to make like a Halloween zone for the sandbox zoo and in this old building we're going to be putting some spiders and some snakes in some spooky scary things i'm absolutely terrified of spiders so this is basically kind of like my nightmare i've not really added too many spiders in my game whatsoever because they creep me out so much so this is why i put this in the like halloween section i know a lot of people are afraid of spiders as well so we're gonna be s scaring ourselves today <laughs> this uh kind of shape kind of reminded me of like a church and especially the um walls as well like the style of the walls and i got a little creative with the special effects adding in some mist to make it more spooky for the little visitors to walk through and then I thought some ivy kind of dangling down over the doors as well would be a little bit more spooky. Just try to make it look as creepy as possible for you to walk through. I don't think I would ever go <laughs> in this. I have been to a few different zoos and pretty much every time I see that there are spiders in the zoos, I'm like, yeah, no, I'll stick with the cute fluffy animals, thanks. <laughs> But yeah, I was kind of proud of myself with this because I'm usually really bad at building <laughs> in Planet Zoo. Like the controls took me ages to figure out. And yeah, I think the X, the whatever that's called, when you press X on an object, it's like a more controlled movement. And I think that was definitely my friend with this building. <laughs> Right, so I know we started off on that little speed build and you got a little hint to... Uh, yeah, I don't care about the kangaroos for now. I know you got a little hint as to what I've done so far for the Halloween zone. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm, I'm sorting that out, that's fine. But I've added a little bit more to the Arctic zone as well. And we have... Uh... Oh, look at that, baby bears too. What ones are these? Grizzlies? Yes, so we got some grizzly bears in here. And they're just chilling. And they really like uh, trees, so they've got lots of trees in their habitat. We're going to have some Himalayan brown bears. Yep. And they've got quite autumnal trees, which I like. This is definitely going in with the theme for today. And here's our snow leopards. And they've got all of the arctic themed sort of habitat stuff just so they go in with all of that and that just made everything super even for me so i like that <laughs> and now i shall reveal what our halloween zone looks like so for the entrance of the halloween zone i've got these really cute pumpkin archways and I'm going to link to everything that I used because I definitely wouldn't have been able to complete this zone without uh, people putting things up on Steam. So I'm going to link to all of the Steam things I downloaded, which includes this archway. And this is a shop. 
but I've also placed some like power and some staff a staff building in as well there's lots of room for different things in this one and this this came with if I select it this came with these decorations they've got some like uh, little graves in there how cute is this a little pumpkin then we'll go over to uh, my little building and I've also got some more decorations from steam as well like these little pumpkins I thought that was really cute this spider that I've put on top of the roof kind of hinting at what I'm gonna put in there <laughs> and then I got a little creative with oh dear this does not look as good as I thought it did but I tried <laughs> I thought maybe this could be a habitat. I'm hoping you can tell what this is. <laughs> you can kind of tell I'm a fan from having that little jack up there for the entirety of me having a webcam. <laughs> I've had my jack in my background and I've made this look a lot better by putting this really awesome pumpkin, sh pumpkin shop next to it look at this this is amazing and there's like lots of different items like, look how detailed this is how just how <laughs> and even around the back if i like swivel around the back we've got like this little well around the back and i'm guessing this was made by this person here but look how cool this is oh yeah and if you go into can I get in? Yes, if we go into the exhibit room, we do have some gothic exhibits in here, all nicely crammed in. And this is another decoration that was in on Steam. Literally everything I'm using is gonna go in the description if you like um, anything that I've shown off. Uh, so we've got five exhibits and yeah I thought this would be fun to put some spiders and stuff in. Right I am already regretting this so much so uh, yeah <laughs> let's put these into the exhibits. <laughs> I, I, I'm yeah I'm hating everything right now <laughs> i hate this so much already and i've not even seen them oh no <laughs> right so the lighting might have changed a little bit and that is because i was having some spooky goings on <laughs> with my new ring lights obviously i tried to make it like darker and spookier in here let's give that a pause <laughs> with like my red light in the background try to make it spookier but uh my one ring light was faulty and i've just had to swap it around and just have one instead of two which is great because they are literally brand new and they get switching off so yeah definitely some haunted ring lights too <laughs> probably put a clip in of me just being like what the fuck is going on uh, I think I'm still pretty much lit up myself. It's just a lot darker in the background now, which is a lot spookier. So yeah, uh, while I was faffing around with all that, I have made sure all my spiders are happy. And oh, I can actually put some education down as well. Mexican red knee tarantula. Hmm, yay. And they're happy. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not playing. Like, oh. They're just so gross. No. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Just the way they move is so creepy. Like I've literally got ghostbusters right now. Ah, too close, too close. And who's in here? Goliath's bird eater. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, Ooh, not a fan. Let's see if we can find the lady one. She was over here somewhere, wasn't she? Oh, there she is. <laughs> I literally have not properly looked at these at all since we had uh, the beta release of the game 
I've just not even put them in zoos because they freak me out that much. Who's in here? Oh, you're more colourful. No, no, not really. That does not look friendly, does it? How am I giving myself goosebumps looking at pixels? But I am. And there's the other one. Ugh. Nope. <laughs> there's got to be so many arachnophobes like me just completely not enjoying this one bit. But it's Halloween. Enjoy a massively zoomed in Ugh. spider. <laughs> oh, why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> Brazilian salmon pink tarantula. Now, you'd think, you know, seeing as it's pink, I would enjoy a little bit more. We'll leave the pink one till last. Let's have a look. Hiding in some leaves, that's the one by here. And then the other one's on the log. So we'll go and have a better look. Can you see her now? There? You can sort of see the legs on the... <laughs> <laughs> on the leaf there and then we'll have a look at the lady one on the log it's so hard to like control the camera angles oh don't move please just don't move <laughs> I can't handle them when they move <laughs> so a centipede and this is going to be the least spooky thing right <laughs> I just don't like things with legs <laughs> Oh my god, no! What is that thing? Ah, oh, that looks like something could be on Harry Potter. Jesus! That doesn't look like it could be in real life. Look at that! Oh, and they are absolutely disgusting when they move too. Okay, so it's time to go into the snake room now. <laughs> Uh, I know there's a lot of people who are afraid of snakes, so this is another fun little one. Uh, so let's try and find this yellow anaconda. Now, this is kind of pretty to me. But, I don't know. Maybe some people can be afraid of them. <laughs> uh, we have the diamondback rattlesnake. Oh. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Oh, and I had a little rattle for us as well. Mm -mm, lovely. <laughs> and what's in here? Death Adder. I thought that was great for Halloween, right? A Death Adder. I can tell my zoo is just far too big now with the amount of <laughs> notifications that I get. But here we go. We have a Death Adder. And you can see this one a little bit better. Oh, it's got like a yellowy underbelly to it. I don't really go into exhibits all that much. Probably because the spiders freak me out so much. Right, and our last snake somewhere in this exhibit is the boa constrictor. Oh, oh wow. You would have never guessed like that little pool one but there. There we are. All wrapped up and cute. Would be the same length as that one going up the bamboo. Whoa. Right, so I've made it dark for the last little bit, just so you can see that I've got some like creepy red lighting going on around these buildings and this one's got, oh wow, look at the leaves blowing, that is so cool. This one's got some green lighting going on. Ooh, very eerie, love that. And then around this side. And then if you go into the exhibits, they're all lit up red as well. So it's all red and glowy here too. Right, that was a fun little episode, just focusing more on exhibit animals, but exhibit animals are a little bit more creepy than the habitat species anyway, but we'll find some spooky animals that can go into some habitats to go with the Nightmare Before Christmas mountain and like fill in some of the gaps next week. What 
was your least favorite exhibit animal today? Was it a snake or a spider? My least favorite was definitely that Goliath bird eater. That thing was evil, like absolutely pure evil. <laughs> <laughs> like it freaked me out that much that my legs feel like there's stuff crawling on them and I get goosebumps all over. I hate them. So this has definitely been a spooky, scary video for me. Like this super fun but kind of scary. So everything I've downloaded from Steam and included in this Halloween zone. I'm gonna link in the description. Thank you so much to all of the Steam creators and I think some people have made speed builds for these items as well so definitely check out those links and then there'll be a link to the YouTube if people have done a speed build for them because I, I know the pumpkin shop has got a speed build. I think there's another one as well. But they're awesome so if you want to check them out too go check them out because i definitely wouldn't have this spooky zone without any of the steam things otherwise this would have taken me like three weeks to decorate uh, i really appreciate people putting cool things on steam if you enjoyed this video smash that like button i don't know why you enjoyed it because i was absolutely terrified I probably tortured uh, some people who are scared of spiders and snakes anyway. And that's centipede. Ooh. Right. <laughs> I'm going to leave it off there. If you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.